And this tool right here, we're gonna demonstrate. This is a self-help hiatal hernia tool. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This tool right here, we're gonna demonstrate. This is a self-help hiatal hernia tool. You can use this at home on yourself to, to create that same maneuver that I'm doing, the hiatal hernia maneuver. You'll be able to do this from the comfort of your own home, okay? This is the first prototype we've got. Uh, we're on our fifth, it's coming out this week, but even the first one worked really well. So we're really excited. We've just fine tuned it since then. So I'm gonna show you how we use the self-help hiatal hernia tool, all right? So Monica here has allowed us to demonstrate the tool and how it's used. So we're gonna go ahead and show you so uh, where the hernia is and how to correct it with this tool. So you'll see it's right below the xiphoid process. The xiphoid process is where the ribs come and meet the um, breast plate or the bottom of the breast plate. We're gonna go about a half inch to her left. And then we're gonna place this tool right underneath to kind of get underneath the ribs. And I placed a little bit of gel. You can also put uh, lotions, any kind of skin lotion here so it prevents chafing of the skin. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and, you see here I'm pressing in with this tool underneath the ribs and she's going to be able to control this that's the beauty of this tool in the beginning some people are really sore and this will allow her to control it in the beginning she might do gentle strokes but after a week or so you may find that she's not as sore and that she's able to get in there and you can see i'm putting a little more pressure on it and i'm able to do that because we've done the hiatal hernia maneuver for her a couple times already but um, I'm gonna have her take control of this and we're gonna keep the tool not at 12 o'clock like this, but at 11 o'clock. So go ahead and place one hand right here. Yep, and then the other hand right on top, like mine is on top of mine there. Yep, good. And you're gonna maintain steady pressure and breathe in and out. And you're gonna, she's gonna keep the tool tilted a little at 11 o'clock, good. And with each exhalation, you're gonna kind of press in a little bit more. And, you know, apply as much pressure as you can take without it being, you know, too uncomfortable, okay? It's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning. It'll get easier and easier. So, uh, Monica, tell me, you've already um, had the maneuver done a few times. How are you feeling? How is, you know, you were having, what, what type of symptoms with your hiatal hernia? Uh, I was having shortness of breath and acid reflux on a daily basis. Okay, and we've done the hiatal hernia, I think, uh, maneuver mm, four times? Uh, four, yes, four okay. times. And how are you doing now? I feel a difference. I, my shortness of breath um, doesn't come as often, and my acid reflux has gone down as well. Okay, great. So that's great. I mean, her symptoms are much better, but now we're gonna to have to strengthen her diaphragmatic wall. So now we've got it in there. She's kind of got her abdomen rested. Now we're gonna tilt this piece up to 12 o'clock and then a little bit forward towards her. And then we're gonna slide this down the stomach just like that. You'll see the other end is sliding down just like that, good. Now we're gonna do it again, okay. And some of the newer prototypes, we've made this bar a little bit wider so you can't miss the stomach. Okay, so as long as you're right there in the spot I tell you to be, you're not gonna miss it, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and apply it. Again, tilt it back a little bit. When you feel like you've got it as deep as you can, then you're gonna bring, bring the tool up towards 12 and then up towards your head at one and two o'clock and then slide it down while you're maintaining that pressure. So it's important when you slide it down the stomach through, through here that she is not only relaxed, but that she's maintaining that constant pressure. You feel like you're relaxed there and ready? Okay, so now let's go ahead and bring it back, maintain that pressure. So on your hand, see how I'm maintaining that pressure? And we're gonna tilt it. There we go.
There we go. And it automatically, and again, the lotion helps to do that. Now I see here it left little marks on our skin, but they're gonna go away. And again, the new tool, the new prototypes we had, we've widened it and we made the, uh, the steel, stainless steel thicker. So it won't do that, okay? Um, thanks for showing us and uh, showing everybody else out there a brand new tool that's gonna be out on the market soon. Thanks for tuning in.